COVID. Trace, congratulations. Uh, man, all week long, it was pretty obvious, like, how excited you were to be here. And, and so can you just kind of put into words, I guess, like, what the what the emotion is like right now? Yeah, thank you. Um, geez. Uh, I mean, uh, I came in here with a lot of expectations. Um, well, I think uh, a lot of expectations for me as well. So <clears throat> a lot of people would say, well, I mean, there was so much pressure. I can't, I can't even explain it. Outside pressure from my countrymen, I, I, the support. And with pressure, I mean the support I've been getting from my, from my whole country. Like, I think there's 40 million people sitting in front of the TVs at home right now. It's, it's, it's insane. I can't believe what happens. Uh, it feels like South Africa is, is playing in the World Cup rugby finals again. And uh, it could have gone any better, I guess. The first round knockout. Uh, the whole week leading up, I stayed calm. And, you know, my whole career, you try to, to think about this moment and you expect it. I try to expect it. I try to, to not get overwhelmed by anything that happens. But... And especially this being a, such a short notice experience, when I got the flight, get, get passports ready, everything ready, uh, I didn't really get time to sink in. And I mean, I just got a first round KO in front of Dana White. And if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about uh, your feeling going in there, because you mentioned it. I mean, obviously you've had experience in big shows that aren't the UFC, but there is so much expectations on you. And I think you're aware of that. So were there like nerves or, you know, I mean, you, you admit it felt pressure so did that did it feel it when you got in the cage listen you can have all the fights in the world you can have a million fights once you step inside the octagon of the UFC for the first time and you don't have nerves you're in the wrong industry I think uh, I mean this is the this is the pinnacle of your career I mean this is the highest you can the highest stage in the world you can fight on so yeah of course my nerves were, were through the roof I was nervous like I am every fight but I wouldn't say more nervous than I was in my last fight in EFC, for example. Uh, I mean, knowing I'm fighting in the UFC, you know what the stakes are, but so are the stakes. I mean, if I lose a fight in the EFC, the UFC won't sign me. If you lose your debut fight, the UFC is going to cut you. So the stakes stay the same for me. It's uh, every fight is the most important fight of my life. When I go out there, whether it's for a bout, where I'm defending a bout, where I'm making a debut, it's all the same for me. And of course, the, the nerves of winning whether it's in the UFC, whether it's in in the UFC, whether it's KSW, it doesn't matter. There was always nerves, and I'm fighting. I fought a, a guy that's pretty high ranked, a, a lot higher than me, making my debut on the main card, my first time in my career fighting with no crowd. There was so much stuff to get used to, such a short notice fight. Am I ready? Everything. I knew I was ready. I've trained 10 years for this. It's not a two week notice fight. This is a 10 year notice fight. So I mean, but I mean, I was nervous, especially in the beginning. He put a lot of pressure on me, uh, which was smart for me. I mean, it's my debut, so I mean, here's the next level. And he basically said, "Listen, kid, stay, welcome to the UFC. This is how we do things over here." And he put a lot of pressure on me, and I'm really glad that happened. I was I was under pressure, and I was forced to improvise and I'm forced to adapt, and I overcame. Uh, got that shot, got that first round knockout, and yeah, here I am. So we saw the fight, but uh, we were doing an interview while you were doing your in-cage interview. Was there an Adesanya call out in there? Yeah, well, I mean, if you, like I said, I said it before, if you don't have the mission to be the greatest of all time, you're, you shouldn't be here. You're going to get hurt. I'm, I want to be the greatest to ever do this sport. And, I mean, who's at the top of the pile? Whoever has the belt. It's nothing personal against Adesanya. I'm not calling him out per se. I'm calling out the guy who has the belt. And... The whole division has to know that I'm coming. The whole division has to see what just happened. Everybody said, this guy's not, never been finished. 15 outings, never been finished. Uh, I have 14 wins. I finished every single one of them. And I said, this is, my, this is how I prove my point. I get into the UFC, on the main card, fight a guy that's never been finished, finish him in the first round. And I mean, I, I, I feel I made a statement with that. And right now, I'm, I'm chasing that top 20. And whoever the UFC gives me next, I'll go through them. And I'll go through whoever I need to to get that belt as soon as possible. A uh, little bit of an interesting stare down yesterday at the weigh-ins. What did you make of his uh, Joker makeup when he got in your face? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was prepared for that mentally. I, I saw he did it in his, some of his previous fights. I think it's ridiculous, to be honest. I don't, I don't get involved in, in antics like that. Some people do. I mean, if that works for him, great. And for me, this is not, this is not a, a clown show. This is not a circus. This is not... We don't play over here. This is my job. This is this is serious stuff. When I go out there, I want to take your head off. And, and uh, I mean, 
I don't want to make jokes before I do that. This is not, this is not, do you think gladiators made jokes before they went out there and killed each other? No, this is modern day gladiators that we're doing. We are modern day gladiators. I want to go out there and I'm fighting for my life every single time. I'm fighting for my, this is, this is my life. Literally on my table so i'm not i'm not in for jokes uh if that works for him i didn't make anything of it uh, i wasn't focused on my opponent at all like all my fights i focus on myself and uh it showed out there tonight so when you say you don't focus on your opponents you don't really game plan for him specific i mean i'm sure it would be hard to game plan for him specifically anyway considering you said he's kind of all over the place in there yeah i mean all my fights obviously i look at all my opponents fights i see their fights a million times before I fight them, but I never go out there and say, listen, this guy throws a right hand so hard. I have to watch out for that right hand or this guy drops. I would look for, for things that he does repeatedly. I would look for things that opponent does repeatedly. That spinning elbow. I mean, the first time he threw it, I knocked him out because I saw that. We saw that two weeks ago. We talked about it so many times in training. Listen, he does throw that elbow. Be aware of it. I don't go out there and find, think, oh, he's going to throw it. Oh, he's going to throw it because then he's going to land it. I'm, I'm thinking about not what my opponent's going to do to me, but what I can do to him. I'm thinking about my defense. My defense has to be all, up all the time. You have to be able to defend that elbow all the time. If, if I don't, I did something wrong. So, I mean, I do prepare for opponent in some way, I guess, because he's a southpaw as well. But I don't game plan around my opponent's fight. I game plan about what I want to do because that's ultimately in the fight. If I fight my opponent's fight, uh, I'm giving him the advantage. I'm going out there and fight my fight. And that's what I did there tonight. He put pressure on me. And as soon as I, as the momentum started turning, I started landing my kicks, started putting pressure on him. I could see he was willing. As soon as he gets under pressure, that's when he throws that elbow. We saw that in all of his previous fights. And I got him up against the fence. I see, I saw his hips twitching and I knew fake it. He's going to throw it and I'll land that shot. And that's exactly how it went down. So that was perfect. Anything? We're good. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.